paramedic in the West Midlands has admitted to ITV News that she doesn't know how her ambulance service will cope with the current level of demand. The service itself says the number of calls it took over the weekend was on a scale normally reserved for a busy New Year's Eve. That's around 150 an hour. In the first of a series of reports on the NHS under pressure this winter, an ITV camera rode with one ambulance crew in Birmingham, from where Rebecca Barry reports. It's the start of a 12-hour shift and this crew will be working flat out. Here in the West Midlands, the ambulance service is going through one of its busiest periods ever. I genuinely don't know how we're going to be able to cope with demand. We're, we're sort of topping around 3,000 odd calls a day, which is making it increasingly hard for us to, to cope with um, the amount of patients that are calling. Not only that, but also the amount of patients that are attending A&E as well. We're noticing longer waiting times. Do you only get the pins and needles occasionally or are they there? But this man is one of many who dialed 999 when he should have just gone to see his GP. This weekend they got 150 calls an hour. That's why they're urging people to phone only if it's a real emergency. If you had more funding, do you think you would be able to cope with this demand better? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, more funding would need that, you know, more ambulances on the streets to be able to respond to patients. But also, I think, we, you know, we need to make sure that the general public do look after their ambulance service to ensure that those frontline resources are able to respond to those life-threatening emergencies. On Saturday, the West Midlands Ambulance Service responded to 3,550 emergency calls, up nearly 17% on last year. Around the country, other services were also inundated. North West Ambulance Service took 3,973 calls that day, 16% more than the same day last year. And in the east of England, 3,278 calls were taken. Again, up more than 16%. A combination of the cold weather, unnecessary call-outs, plus alcohol-related injuries during the Christmas party season has created the perfect storm. In fact, the only other time they've been this busy here is on New Year's Eve, and they expect things to get even worse next weekend. Other parts of the NHS are also under pressure, and long waiting times in A&E departments have a knock-on effect with ambulances often left queuing outside. Did you call for an ambulance, John? The NHS in England is getting £700 million to cope with the extra demand this winter, but for the crews on the late shift here, it's bound to be another long and busy night ahead.